regular maintenance must be performed at the proper time interval. A chart in the manual provides a list of when certain tasks should be performed. Water piping. All water piping, valves, unions, and joints should be checked for leaks annually. The TNP valve. Every year the TNP valve function should be checked. The cathodic protection system. The module and status LED are mounted on the control panel under the cover. The status LED will be green if the system is functioning properly. The LED will flash red if there is a system error. Flush tank. Open the handhole and visually inspect the inside of the tank for sediment buildup twice a year. Drain and flush the water heater to prevent lime and iron buildup, which can lead to premature tank failure. A commercial descaler may be required. Check combustion system. The combustion system must be checked once each year. The inlet gas pressure must be no lower than 6 inches of water column when running at high input and no higher than 14 inches of water column when the burner is off. At maximum input, the oxygen level should be between 3 and 4.5%. Four and CO should be less than 25 parts per million. Inspect venting system. The vent and combustion air intake system should be checked at least once per year for damage and blockage. To inspect the burner, the intake vent connection, blower, and gas valve must be removed. Turn off gas and disconnect power. Disconnect the igniter and flame rod wiring. Remove the igniter, gasket, and set aside. Remove the flame rod, gasket, and set aside. Disconnect the wiring harness from the gas valve and the blower. Disconnect the air intake vent piping. Remove four screws at the gas control flange assembly. Remove four nuts and washers at the burner mounting flange. Remove the blower assembly. Take care when removing all gaskets. Inspect for damage and replace if needed. Lift the burner straight up through the burner assembly mounting flange. Inspect the inside of the burner for blockage. The burner is comprised of a perforated stainless steel tube with a woven metal mesh wrapped around the outside. Do not attempt to stick objects into the woven metal for cleaning purposes as this may damage the burner and reduce performance. If a blockage cannot easily be removed from inside the burner, compressed air may be used to blow out any buildup. The assembly can be reinstalled in reverse order. Reconnect power and gas and check for proper operation. By installing the water heater with care, ensuring a proper water supply, confirming a correct venting installation, and performing regular yearly maintenance, the OptiTherm water heater will provide reliable and efficient hot water operation for many years to come.